Hey. Let's see here. I don't know if you can see that. I guess not. Anyway, I bought this uh, power inverter in, uh, online. It's a grid tied power inverter. Um, it's a real simple setup. Here's the DC power that comes in. It plugs in right into the wall outlet and it sends all the power back into the grid. Um, right now it's not sending in so much because it's a, this is a 250 watt power inverter, but I only have the, uh, let's go outside. What I got is the three, uh, Harbor Freight panels. I've got this trench dug in here. I'm trying to run the lines to try to bury these lines right now, but here's the same setup that uh, you would normally get at Harbor Freight. I just made this uh, stand for them. I have some 2x4s and basically then just put a lip around it and secured them in place from the bottom. Uh, like I said, this still needs to be, uh, I guys just set it up basically just to test it, but I need to wrap these wires up a little bit cleaner and protect those wires a little bit better. And I had a wire was too short, so I had to put this splice here, and what I did was I had a little 5 watt panel over there that I decided just to hook up just to feed in a little bit of extra power to it, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's only 50 watts total with the little one back there. Um, power runs into the house right now into the window. It's, it's kind of a ghetto setup, but you know, like I said, I have it hooked up for testing. And uh, I've had it hooked up now for about a week like this. Uh, it doesn't really rain that much out here in Arizona, so I really haven't had a problem with that. So, um, but uh, I'm looking to add um, some. Uh, Two 130 watt panels, because that's what normally would have came with that little in, uh, power inverter. Um, I saw them at a Kyrosera website for, I believe it was 3.99 a piece, which isn't too bad considering. So, and well, that's just another little water heater, solar wa hot water heater project that I'm working on. I was just testing it to see how hot the water comes out, and uh, and even just like this, just a black tubing on the ground, it's it's still that water came out still pretty hot. I mean, it was it was enough to burn my hand. I poured it into this bucket here, and it, it was it was pretty darn hot. So I can just imagine when it what how hot it's going to come out once I make a box and seal it up real tight. But um, I mean, I started this because I saw a lady at work was asking me about solar hot water heaters, so I decided to go ahead and test it. And, I'm thinking of maybe building two of these and, and hooking them up together and maybe uh, building her a little solar hot water heater which you probably would just hook up right into her um, water filtration system and heat up her pool during the day. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want any information on that little power inverter, it's a grid type power inverter. So it just back feeds the power into the house. Uh, like I said, with these panels here, it really isn't, really doesn't feed back that much power. I mean, the little gauge that I had there was showing like a .01 amp, but, and these supposedly are rated at three. But I don't know. It's just, just not giving out what the, what the manufacturer said. But anyway, if you have any uh, questions or comments about the setup or anything, let me know. All right, bye.